is Paramount, the parent company of CVS. Is it for sale? Well, apparently it is. And it's all in the hands of the president of the parent company of Paramount. Because believe it or not, when you see that CBS is under Paramount, well, even Paramount or Paramount Global has a parent as well. And that's National Amusements, Inc. And that is headed by Sherry Redstone, who only has that position because her father, Sumner Redstone, recently passed away. So again, this is just yet another example, I remind you, of a woman with power only because of a man. But you can guarantee when you look through the mainstream media, they love to tout her as this power woman in the industry. Of course, conveniently leaving out the fact that she's a Nepo baby who only got her position because her father died and she wasn't even close to her father. They actually had a little you know, bitter rival going on, but conveniently enough, she was able to make up with him while he was on his last days. And as a result, she has the position that she has. I mean, that's why a couple of videos ago I compared her to, or I, I said she's a worse Kathleen Kennedy. You know, as much as people talk about how horrible Kathleen Kennedy is, well, this chick is far more worse. She was able to swindle her father, and plus, she has far more power than Kathleen Kennedy. You know, being the president of the parent company to Paramount, which, again, is apparently up for sale. I mean, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, Paramount hasn't been doing well. You know, I'm sure the flop of Mission Impossible 7 sure didn't help its business out. But even before that, it hasn't been doing well. You know, Paramount Plus uh, hasn't been successful, just like all of these other streaming services. I mean, the only one that's been able to actually be successful is Netflix. I mean, not too long ago, they uh, got rid of Showtime, the cable network, and they merged it into Paramount. Because, again, that's how uh, desperate they are to find any bit of success. Well, now, they're looking to sell. You know, and she's been in negotiations. Obviously, not just her. You know, her and the men around her, they actually, you know, do the work. <laughs> They've been in conversations with... Uh, of various in investors you know to sell Paramount you know and I think there was a story not too long ago about them selling one of their uh, notable lots and I guess that's also in response to you know the bad business that's been happening and um, I'm trying to look for a statement that was made in this article where they uh, sort of uh, briefly touch on uh, the issues. Uh, so it says here because they they make they make a statement about the lack of success in the movie industry, basically, and how that's also uh, heavily contributed to their negative business. Which again, I've been saying over and over again, none of this stuff is too big to fail. And if people are actually, you know, actively boycotting this stuff, the bad business that they're doing now would be exceptionally worse. Now, again, some of the people that's in contention for acquiring Paramount is uh, David uh, Ellison and, um, and his uh, Skydance. And he's working with Jerry Cardinal, Redbird, on evaluating potential deals. And uh, Gary Cardinal and Redbird is like one of those, you know, like multi-billion dollar uh, in uh, hedge funds. So, yeah. I mean, basically, the, the I don't need to find a specific quote. The point is, Paramount's business is doing bad. And National Amusements is looking a, a way to shed that that uh, that negative business off of their portfolio and hand it to someone else. 
And I've also heard news about Warner Bros. Discovery struggling as well. And we already see what, you know, Disney is doing. So, again, good news all around, especially if you're someone that's in support of these companies struggling and possibly coming to an end. But more than likely, instead of coming to an end, they'll just, like, merge into some sort of major investment firm, which seems to be happening with Paramount. So, ultimately, we'll see how this turns out. Um, But, yeah, all around good news. Love to see these bastards struggle. And South Park, South Park will be fine no matter what. Because, you know, South Park is currently uh, under Paramount with their brand. But they could do independently if they wanted to. And not just be just as fine, but probably even better. Because all the profits would be coming to them. <laughs>